Good morning. We are still on percentages. Okay, you did a lot of percentage work with Miss Speakman at the end of last term. Okay, using multipliers to increase and decrease. Well, this is the last little bit of percentages and it's reverse percentages. Okay, and to start with, we'll go with non calculator and I'll keep the numbers nice for you. Okay, so when we say reverse percentages, what we mean is you've got a question and something has already been increased or decreased and you're being asked to work out what it was before it was increased or decreased. Okay, the original amount, and I, I always say that's 100%. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of working backwards coming up, but I want to start just to get your brains working this morning with some just normal non calculated percentages. Okay, so scribble all this down in your books. And what I want you to do first of all, look, is work out without a calculator those four questions. Pause the video and press play when you're ready to get the answers. Okay, for the first one then, always start by finding 10%, don't we? So 10% would be 12. And so to get 20%, you would double that, which is 24. So that's that one done. Again, start with 10%. This time 10% is six. We need to make 15%, so I'll need 5%. If 10% is six, 5% is 3. If I add them up together, 15% is 9. Okay. Increase this time. So this means that when we find 5%, we've got to add it on. So if we find 10% of 80, that's 8. So 5% of 80 is 4. And then because it says to increase now, we've got to do 80 plus 4, so the new amount is 84, okay? And you could say that that's 105%, because we started on 100%, which was 80, and we added on another 5%, so 84 is our final answer. Uh, this one says to decrease by 15%, so 10% of 140, that's 14, and 5% would be 7. So add them up to get 15%. So 15% 15 of 140 is 21. Because it's a decrease then, we do 140 take away 21, which is 119. Okay. And because we took away 15%, what we're left with here is 85%. Okay. You've done a little bit of that did multiplies, didn't you? Start from 100% and add in and take in away. So if you take away 15% of something, what you're left with is 85%. If you add on 5% to something, what you end up with is 105%. Okay, now have a look at this bottom one. So pause the video and have a go at it yourselves. It says increase 2,000 francs by 10% and then decrease the new amount by 10%. What happens? So if you're lazy and you couldn't bother to work it out, you'd probably guess that you get back to 2,000 pounds, but that is not what happens. Okay, 10% of 2,000 is 200. And 2,000 plus 200, because we're increasing, is 2,200 pounds. If it's money, yeah. Then it says to decrease by 10%. So 10% of 2,200 is 220. And if you do 2,200 take away 220 you end up with 1980 pounds so why is it that you don't get back to the original amount it's because when we increased by 10 percent it was 10 percent of 2000 which is 200 when we decreased by 10 percent it was 10 percent of 2200 so even though it was 10 percent both times the actual amount that that worked out as was different because we had different starting values. At the beginning of the question, we had 2,000. We found 10% of that. But then at the end of the question, we had 2,200 and we found 10% of that. And that's really important in this topic because sometimes you can think that a method is going to work, but actually you're finding that the percentage of the wrong number and it all goes completely wrong. Okay, so it's worth seeing that 10% of two different numbers doesn't work. Okay, increasing and decreasing. Okay, 
So have a look at these questions. Now these are, they're not quite reverse questions, but they're not as straightforward as what you just did. Okay, so if you want to work through one by one, pause the video, press play when you're ready, when you've written it down, and even have a go yourself if you can work them out. So it says, in a class there are five left-handed children. This is 20% of the class. So how many pupils are in the class? So we don't know how many pupils are in the class, but if we say that the, all of the class is 100%, because everybody is 100%, okay, and the information we've been given is that the five pupils were left-handed, so that's not all of the class, that's 20% of the class, okay? But if we know that 20% of the class is five pupils, can we work out what 100% of the class would be? So how do you get from 20% to 100%? You times by five, by times by five this side as well, there must be 25 pupils in the class. Okay, does that work? Well, 10% of 25 is 2.5, and so 20% is five, so that works. There must be 25 pupils in the class. Okay, have a look at the second one with me then. So it says, on a bus, 40 people want to stop at the services. 20% don't want to stop. How many people are on the bus? Okay, so the total number of people on the bus, 100%. We don't know what that is yet. We know that 20% don't want to stop and 40 people do. So the 40 people who want to stop, what percentage is that? It's not everybody, it's not 100% of the people on the bus. Is it 20% of the people on the bus? Or is it 80% of the people on the bus? So 40 people want to stop, 20% don't want to stop. So if 20% don't want to stop, it means that 80% of the people on the bus do. So the 40 people must be equal to 80% of the bus. Now remember, we're trying to work out what 100% of the bus is. Okay. Now I would say the easiest way to do that is to find 10% next. But remember, we're starting on 80%. So how do you get 10% if you've got 80% already? How many 10s are in 80? There are 8. So we divide by 8. Okay, normally to find 10%, you divide by 10, but remember we're not starting on 100%, we're starting on 80%. If we do the same on the other side and divide by 8, 40 divided by 8 is 5. So 10% is 5 people. So what would 100% of the best be? How do you get to 100%? You times by 10. And so there must be 50 people on the bus. Okay, the really important step is this one at the beginning where you get the right percentage to go with the right number there. Okay, if you muck that up, it all goes wrong. Last one then of this type look. It says that 90% of the class passed their maths test, but two people failed. How many people are in the class? So the whole class is 100%. Now these two people that failed, that's not everybody in the class. And it's not 90% because 90% passed. So these two people must be the 10% that failed. So 10% in this question is equal to two people. So what would 100% be? Remember, 100% is everybody. So how do you get from 10% to 100%? You times by 10, and there must be 20 people in the class altogether. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. It's starting with a percentage that's not everybody. Okay, it's not 100%, and we're working out what 100% would be. Okay but you've got to get this link at the beginning right. Okay, so now the next ones are going to show you a little bit harder 
again. So now we're going to go into proper reverse percentages. Again, keep stopping the video and give yourself time to work things out before I do it. So if we have just look at the first one then. In a shop there is a 20% off sale and a jacket cost £64. What was it worth originally? So this is not 100% of the price because this is after 20% was taken away. Okay. I would like to know what the original price was, which is 100%. Okay. And we go, we're not going back in time really, aren't we? We're saying, well, what was it like last week before the sale started? But to do that, we've got to get the right percentage with this number. So the £64 is what you've still got to pay. So if there's 20% off, what percentage are you still paying? So start with 100% and take off 20. This must be 80%, okay? Because it's what's left after you've taken off 20%. So in this question, 80% is 64, okay? Remember, we're trying to get to 100%. Now, you can't go straight from 80 to 100 because they're not numbers that work very well together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to something nice first. Now, when I say nice, I mean like 10% or 20% or if I really have to, 5%. So we've got some options. We could divide by 8. Okay, if we divide by 8, we'd get 10%, wouldn't we? And we could divide that by 8. Even we could divide by 4. Whoops. Let's undo that. We could even divide by 4 because that would give us 20%. And from there we could get to 100%. Okay, but I think I'll stick with 10% for now. So let's divide by 8 to get to 10%. Okay, remember this is different. You don't divide by 10 to get 10% because we're not starting on 100, we're starting on 80. So what is 64 divided by 8? It is 8. And then we can jump to 100% next. So times by 10, this is why I like going to 10% because it makes the last bit easy. You get 80. So how much was the jacket originally? It must have been 80 pounds to start with. Okay. Then when you take off 20% and you can check it works, 10% is eight, 20% is 16, and 80 take away 16 is 64. So it works, okay. But you must get this first bit right. You must get the right percentage with the right number. Okay, remembering this is not all of it. It's not 100%. It's 80% because it's after 20% was taken off. If we look at the next one. This time we've got a 10% off sale. Okay, so there's 10% off, but the game still costs £54. So if it's had 10% taken off, what percentage is left? 100 take away 10 is 90 percent so in this question 90 percent is 54 pounds and just like we've been doing for the last couple of questions i want to get a hundred percent sorry that's not a very good percentage sign there so a hundred percent how do i get from 90 to 100 i can't very nicely okay I can't get to 20% either because 20 doesn't go into 90. So this time I'm going to have to go to 10%. How do you get from 90% to 10%? How many 10s are in 90? 9. So divide by 9. And this number divides by 9 as well because it's a non calculated question. So how many 9s are in 54? 6. If 10% is 6, then 100% must be 60, okay? Which makes sense, the game must have been 60 pounds originally. Then when they took 10% off, which is six, it was 54 pounds in the sale, okay? But again, you've got to make sure that you write that this 54 pounds is 90% of the original cost. Okay, this next one is different, and it's different because the prices are going Okay, so the prices have gone up by 20% and a meal costs £24. So if it was 100% originally and it's gone up by 20%, that must be 
a hundred and twenty percent okay and remember we're trying to get to a hundred percent which is going to be less but that makes sense because it would have cost less before because the prices have gone up by 20 percent okay so how am I going to get from 120 to 100 I think just do something different this time I'm going to go to 20 percent because 20 goes into 120 exactly six times so I can divide by six divide by six 24 divided by 6 is 4. So if 120% is £24, then 20% is £4. How do you get from 20% to 100%? You times by 5, which gives us £20. So originally the meal was £20, but when they put their prices up, it went to 24 pounds okay so it was a hundred percent originally it went to 120 percent when they added an extra 20 percent on and from 120 percent we worked out a hundred percent okay this is not an easy topic okay a lot of people struggle with these and then the last little example for this video then the number of people living in a town has increased by 10 percent so and that's how many people live there now how many people used to live there so the original amount of people is a hundred percent and if it went up ten percent this is a hundred and ten percent now so this number is a hundred and ten percent so four thousand nine hundred and fifty is a hundred and ten percent because it's gone up by ten remember we're trying to get to a hundred percent so what would be a nice percentage? We can't go to 20% because 20 doesn't go into 110. We'll have to go to 10%. Okay. So how do you get from 110 to 100? How many tens are in 110? What do you divide by? 11. Okay. Now you might have to do long division for this or you can trust me on it. 4950 divided by 11 is 450 okay you can do it this way if you like with your remainders and you'll end up with 450 eventually and now we can get to a hundred percent by times in by 10 which is 4500 so that makes sense because if it's increased and now there are 4,950. It must have been lower before, not lower by much because it only increased by 10%. Okay, but you've got to get, you've got to get this right. If you put the wrong percentage by there, you'll never get to 100% properly by there. Okay, and that might take a bit of practice. Okay, and if you want to sum this up, then so a little something you can just put in your book. Then as a little bit of a, a guide, a step by step book. So when you've got the new value, write down what percentage that is. Okay, is it 90%? Is it 80%? Is it 110%? Okay, but it's not 100%. I'm not on a reverse question. 100% is what you're trying to get to in the end. Okay. From the percentage you've got in the question, try and get to something nice like 10% or 20%. If it's particularly nasty, you might have to work out 5%. Okay. And from there, then you should be able to get to 100% much easier.